Hi folks, in this session, we will understand what are the fabulous four technologies that is going to help us out in our job hunt in 2020 and 2021. Amidst Corona outbreak, these technologies are going to stand tall and help us out. We will see about these technologies quickly within seven minutes and I hope it will be interesting. The first one, needless to say, is AI. Learn machine learning, deep learning, data analytics. All these together are going to, call, going to be called under one umbrella called as artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence has got a huge focus. The market prediction is really, really very good. And you can see that we have got so much of prediction done by multiple people who are all stalwarts in predicting about the market analysis. One such guy is Gartner and the Gartner's analysis is really, really in favor for uh, learning artificial intelligence. You can see that the artificial intelligence has stopped the chart and in 2025, you can see the amount of money that is going to be generated around or worked around this AI. And the growth is phenomenal. The growth predicted is really, really phenomenal. And I think you should start learning artificial intelligence. The only thing that you need to know is artificial intelligence is not just one technology. It has got ML, it has got DL, it has got data analytics, all these things come into picture and it needs math. So please remember, math is going to play a major role and Python is going to be used extensively for most of the artificial related artificial intelligence related applications so please start learning that and this is going to be one of the very important areas uh, uh, one of the very important technologies which is going to give us a lot of jobs and the bbc has also predicted that artificial intelligence is not going to be just used in one sector it's going to be in health it's going to be in science and technology communications hospitality education administrative and support services other sectors retail construction, finance, public administration, transport and manufacturing, what not. Everything is mentioned here and see the way uh, the prediction has been done. All these areas, A is going to play a major role. A is going to get into the market. A is going to go deeper further than what it is right now. So I request you guys to, if you are searching for a job and if you think that you are going to uh, get into the market by 2021, you please be A skilled. A is killing is nothing but ML DL as I told you. The next area that we can uh, pay a lot of attention and focus to is Internet of Things and Cyber Physical Systems. Internet of Things when it started it was nowhere but the state now here it is today is uh, really awesome. And Cisco has uh, predicted way back in 2016-2017 itself uh, that it's going to be 50 billion smart objects going to be used by all of us by this year 2020 they have predicted that it's going to be 15 billion smart objects and cisco also conveyed that everybody will have six things per person six things it can include your watch it can include your mobile it can include your belt it can include your uh, wearables anything and so everything is internet connected Gr growth is really phenomenal and if you learn internet of things it's very easy for you to build complex cyber physical systems as well and automation can also be done a lot with the iot and cyber physical system it all started with a simple internet connection 1990 and way we are using internet right now in 2020 the market is so very huge and the prediction is like it is going to be 50 billion smart objects and definitely more than this so we have got a lot of future here how do we learn internet of things sir very simple start buying sensors simple sensors are sufficient start interfacing it with microcontrollers, start building applications around it. That's enough for you to understand how things work. And then over and above it, you can learn protocols, you can learn the software stack, which is going to help you in building more complex and more meaningful applications. I hope Internet of Things is going to be a tough competitor for the guys who are going to get in into, I mean, uh, for the, uh, the market is going to be split into Internet of Things and A is what I feel. And sometimes we feel that there will be a convergence also uh, will be happening between Internet of Things and AI. The IoT applications may also have a lot of AI connected to it. So it's going to be no different actually over a period of time. So guys, you need to learn Internet of Things and this is going to be one of the real good game changers. And the next one is close to my heart, augmented and virtual reality. Yes, when it started, nobody believed that it's going to be such a huge market. In 2016, it was just 2 billion market when we uh, take VR for consideration. But in 2022, it is predicted that it's going to be 17.8 billion USD market. And similarly, for AR when it started, it was just 4 billion market. But it is predicted that in 2022, it's going to be 161 billion dollars market. Why? AR has got a lot of scope in games. 
here has got a lot of scope here we are has got a lot of scope in healthcare real estate most importantly very important aspect of using ar and vr is real estate retail military and education increased e learning increased usage of the e learning tools and online teaching to make sure that the vr has got a lot of scope and vr is explored there so i think if you are interested and if you are really creative you can go into ar vr the learning it is also not very difficult though it was difficult in the earlier days now there are a lot of tools available 3d modeling can be learned through blender so we have got unity and all these things let you learn ar vr easily and remember this is going to be one of the technologies that you need to really learn and the final one in the picture many uh, talks or many uh, documents that i have read projecting a uh, top 20 top 15 uh, technologies or top 10 technologies did not include blockchain but i feel from my view blockchain is going to go much higher than what it is right now it is predicted that it's going to be 39.7 billion dollar market by 2025 it's not a small market it's going to be a huge market and learning blockchain is very important right now because not many expertise not many experts are available out there so if you learn some technology which is growing and if you are the only person who know it well you know the impact of it it's very easy for you to get a job so learn blockchain and that's going to be very good as well what other areas sir you are going to work out very simple e learning if you are too good in creating content and if you can uh, get in into e learning market there is nothing like that we have seen the growth of e learning like anything in the past few years particularly during this corona outbreak the e learning has found a lot of market and students and parents are even accepting e learning as a good model for teaching so you can be into e learning and cyber security this is one area which is going to gain a lot of momentum and attention which already has gained a lot of momentum because whatever we do now is through e through internet so we need security and cyber security has played a, a vital role everywhere too and the final one is digital marketing you can enter into the digital marketing space as well which will give you a lot of revenue as well as scope so finally fabulous four starts with uh, artificial intelligence it went with iot and cyber physical systems augmented and virtual reality and what finally we have seen is blockchain and then there are three other technologies which can also be tried out with is e learning cyber security and then finally digital marketing i hope this session was useful happy learning stay safe